looking at one more example for the Lagrange error. So we want to find the error bound uh, when we approximate ln of 1 plus x with the Maclaurin series. So from the previous example of, uh, of this ln of 1 plus x from previous example, we know that, well, let's go ahead and carry this out. f prime of x equals 1 over 1 plus x. And f double prime of x equals negative 1 over 1 plus x squared. f triple prime of x equals 2 over 1 plus x cubed. And what we're doing here is just simply using the quotient rule, just like before. So now we have to notice a pattern here. So f to the nth order derivative of x equals negative 1, because it's alternating, times n to the n minus 1, times n minus 1 factorial all over 1 plus x to the n. So 1 plus x here is to the first power, the second power, third power. So 1 plus x to the n. Well, now that we know this general form for f to the nth order derivative of x, we can apply it to our error bound formula. And our error bound formula states that the bound is less than the max of f n plus 1 of c times x minus a n plus 1 over n plus 1 factorial. So let's go ahead and rework this and plug in every component. So the error bound here is defined by the max value of the absolute value of negative 1 to the n, here n plus 1, n minus 1 plus 1 is just n, so n factorial, same thing here, over 1 plus c n plus 1 times x to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 factorial. So we have here uh, simplified a little bit. Well, we don't need to really simplify this too much because we have this n factorial and n plus 1 factorial term that we can simplify. So let's go ahead and simplify it down here. Our error bound now is defined by the max value of negative 1 to the n times x to the n plus 1 all over 1 plus c times n plus 1 times n plus 1. So error bound answers are rather long, so you should not expect them to be of single variable like 3 or 5 or 2.2. Uh, they are a giant expression to show us that this McLaurin series has a very complicated error bound. Um, and this is important when we're approximating to know the exact error that we're dealing with when we're approximating. So uh, that was a quick look at the Lagrange error, and it is the last topic of the power series, and that concludes the BC uh, course topic. So thanks for watching educator.com. We'll see you in the practice exam problem.